So as many of you know, the latest controversy regarding Bernie Sanders is the comments that he made about Cuba. Even though he condemned them for being authoritarian, the fact that he said they were successful at having high literacy, that's a huge scandal. They're not desperate. You know, this is just something they disagree with Bernie on. They're totally not hacks. Bernie's bad here. Um, so since the hosts on The View absolutely loathe Bernie Sanders, just take a guess and how they responded to this. Of course, they, uh, they had some really strong feelings, especially Whoopi Goldberg, who compared Bernie's remarks about Cuba to something Donald Trump said when he was comparing the left and the alt-right. Not even kidding. Take a look. They are, are not going to forgive him for this position. It's this, a this dictatorship. Yeah. There is nothing groovy about a dictatorship. Yeah, I mean, it's, like... it's just nothing good about a dictatorship. But doesn't uh, it... For journalists, but... for anybody. I mean, wherever it is in the world. We, we bitched at people for getting next to people who were saying, oh, you know, it's not so bad. It is bad. Yeah. But doesn't it concern you that, I mean, and again, this isn't, I think for Republicans in particular, the trying to sort of Re reanimate, reestablish what socialism means. He, people are always saying, oh, but it's like Europe, it's like Sweden. But the problem is he's saying things like Castro did some good things. He also defended Maduro, uh, Venezuela's strongman, a dictator, and he wouldn't yes. say whether or not he, he considered Juan Guado, excuse me, the legitimate leader of the country. So he's going around saying that like these oppressive socialist dictators yeah, but it should, are pretty good guys. But it should so, concern so, Republicans that Trump is this, in bed with dictators also, and he's trying to turn his thing. country you into a dictator. But you can't, but That's you can't, the real problem. You can't Let's what not lose sight of that. But you can't what aboutism this. Like you just can't. Because again, my problem right now is that I've heard, rightfully so, Democrats for the past three and a half years saying what you're saying. Yes. Dictatorships are okay. bad. His his, mm -hmm. his coziness with Putin. Blah blah mm -hmm. blah. But I thought that your party was supposed to be better than this. Then. And again, there's, there's so did still most a Democrats. Big, so did most Democrats. Fair enough. Yeah. But if you're talking about how Maduro's a good guy, Castro did some good things. For me, it's no different than saying like, hey, Hitler was a good orator. It's yeah. that insane. It's yes. that. Back How about Mussolini with yeah. the train crash? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Sounds and insane. I, and I think yeah. that's sorry, but I, say that one more time. I'm sorry. They said that Mussolini made the trans, trains run on time, but meanwhile they were rounding up Jews and killing people in right. Italy at the time. Well, and so that, no, that's and, not a good thing. And that's no. why I think in the debate tonight no. we're going to hear this. We're going to hear yes. it over and over and over again. We should also hear, I think, about his NRA record. I think we should also hear about how he's going to pay for Medicare. Right. You know, he is the front runner now, yes. but uh, these are real. But to not care about Florida. And Cubans in Florida and Cuban Americans in Florida is particularly. But he said they were bad guys. He said Fidel was a bad guy. He was all he was saying was there's this one thing no that they did. But he's, and American he's, voters don't understand matter. nuance. They yes, hear they communism. No, and no, go they, crazy. no, no. This is there's no way around that. This is as bad as as you know who's saying they were good people yep. on both sides. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's no way to get. I don't it, agree. Oh, I do. Once you start saying, well, you know, you know. Something. Hitler wasn't so bad because but he, he didn't say that. But no, he didn't say that. But to a Cuban person, yep. yeah. it's just as bad. I agree. It's Cuban just as bad. Yeah. Cuban in refugees who freedom. lost everything in Cuba because of Castro. Yeah, it's as bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. as bad. You can't lie out his literacy program and not, not highlight the fact that he's a We're all on the same page with this. Killer. What a day. Yes. He's um, dead now. Uh, Fidel is dead. He is dead. Fidel is dead. His brother will be dead soon. The whole thing is going to change very soon. Well, let's hope so. Let's yeah. hope so. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> so, I mean, first of all, let me just say good job, Joy Behar. She's usually terrible as well, but at least in this instance, she was reasonable, but Whoopi Goldberg said this is as bad as you know who saying they're good people on both sides. It's the same thing. Really? Really? Trump was equating white supremacists with left wing protesters. Bernie is saying Cuba overall, their regime is dictatorial, and I disapprove of that, but I think it's good that they've managed to increase literacy rates. And you're saying those two are the same thing? She goes on to say, once you start saying Hitler wasn't so bad because dot, dot, dot. She went there. She went there. <laughs> I, like, I can't even find the energy to be angry anymore because they've been attacking Bernie Sanders just generally in the media so much that 
you just can't not tune out, right? Like, it, when you see, like, one isolated example of somebody saying something stupid about Bernie, you know, he makes my skin crawl, he's unlikable and disheveled, sure, those isolated instances, instances are irritating, but at the same time, like, if everybody's criticizing Bernie Sanders, then functionally, nobody's criticizing Bernie Sanders. It's all just noise at this point, right? So I, I'm not even outraged. It's just, like, I want you to remember the strong response that Whoopi Goldberg had to Bernie Sanders saying that about Cuba. Because we've got a clip to tell you exactly what she said when Obama said the same exact thing. But before we get to that, I've got to respond to Meghan McCain. Um, so she criticized Bernie Sanders because he claims it's like, you know, Scandinavian socialism, but here he is defending Maduro in Venezuela and not saying whether or not he considers Juan Guaido the legitimate leader of Venezuela. So I don't know if Meghan McCain knows this, but the United States government has a history of overthrowing regimes in South America. And Venezuela is just another government that we're trying to overthrow. Like that guy who she's referring to, Juan Guaido, he just declared himself the president unilaterally and then we recognized him as the president. But yet we claim to care about democracy and while we are trying to legitimize this undemocratic coup, we're saying we care about democracy, rah-rah democracy. When in actuality... They've got a lot of oil. In fact, John Molt Bolton, when he was Trump's national security advisor, what did he do? He admitted on Fox News, you know, it'd be great if we allowed American oil companies to get in there and take their oil. I'm paraphrasing, of course. But Meghan McCain, it just shows that she is ahistorical and quite frankly stupid. But um, getting back to Whoopi Goldberg, she, again, had a very strong response to what Bernie Sanders said here, specifically because, you know, look, a dictatorship is a dictatorship. There's nothing, nothing groovy about that. Unequivocally, never ever praise a dictatorship under any circumstances. Except fellow podcasters Let the Madness Begin tweeted this out. The internet has a long memory. Amazing how easily they were able to wax poetic defending Obama, right? And they, they linked to a video where Whoopi Goldberg was defending Obama because when Fidel Castro died, he said some good things about Cuba, and he wasn't harsh enough in his condemnation of Fidel Castro. Watch very closely what Whoopi Goldberg says here, because she doesn't feel as strongly about defending a dictatorship uh, in, in this clip as she did in the previous clip that we saw. The world is still reacting to the death of Cuban dictator Fidel Castro, who died on Friday at 90. Now, Cubans are either dancing in the streets in Miami, or they're crying in the streets in Cuba itself. Now, some critics are saying President Obama should have come out harder against the brutality of Castro's regime in his statement. Do you think he should have said, after just getting the doors open, allowing for people to go, see family, do stuff, do you think he should have said, and you're a bonehead, or was this the proper way to deal with this, given this all great. of this? Well, you know, you can. I think you have I to listen call to, I listen to you, and I'm saying, diplomatically, if you're trying to keep... I'm sorry, baby. If you're trying to keep the lines of communication open and you're trying to keep a flow going, I think that's the way you do it. I went to Cuba last April. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting. I mean, they have a 100% literacy rate there. Mm -hmm. So everybody gets a free education. Everybody More has top-of-the-line medical care. So everyone's healthy. Top of the line. Pretty good. Yeah. I feel like, okay. He said, yeah, man is dead. The Cuban people, the Cuban people who are there are mourning him. They are mourning him. A lot of Not those people, of them, no. a lot of them are mourning well, him. And they're still under a dictatorship. The people, they're under <laughs> well, a dictatorship. Right, they have, let's be but clear. That's, but that's the point. But look what's happening with the Cuban people who fled that regime. They're yes. celebrating. Yes, they're in they, Little Havana yes, celebrating. But, they are, but they're not here celebrating. But, that's right. my point. But my point can, is well, they think, are there. Wait up. Yeah. They are there. You know, and he is talking to the people of Cuba. Not wait, 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 wait. I'm not arguing about whether he's a, a monster or not. Right. I'm saying to you that what Obama did was what a president is supposed to do. Not in the, my opinion. I, not. I understand not that. Well, the people who fled Cuba were in good shape in those days. They had, they had jobs, they were doctors, they were middle Talk class people. Rule. If uh, Obama is being the statesman that he is, you have to think as a leader of the people that are there now. Yes. And I suspect and that's my that's point. What he was that's, but I think what the president was doing was not to. To, to poop on the people who are mourning him back there. Like Elian Gonzalez says he was a father figure to me. We can't understand that, but we don't live there. Let me get this straight. Obama good, 
Bernie bad? If Obama says it, good. If Bernie says the same thing, bad. Because Bernie bad, Obama good. That's the level of political analysis that you can expect when you tune into The View. Obviously, this proves that Whoopi Goldberg very obviously is a political hack, and I don't even really want to call her a hack because I just think that she doesn't think deeply about politics. Like, she often likes to scold the left. I remember when AOC was elected, she scolded Justice Democrats for uh, not doing our homework about Nancy Pelosi and how he she got that... that Obama bill Obama through? bill through like she couldn't even remember the Affordable Care Act so she's someone who's just like an average consumer of political news with that being said I can't give her a pass because she's on this national platform and her views on politics reaches millions of people every single day so you can't not be educated you can't not form very intelligent well-researched views on politics if you're going to talk about it whoopee I mean, think about what she said here. Diplomatically, if you're trying to keep the lines of communication open and you're trying to keep a flow going, I think that's how you do it. You've got to give them a little bit of praise. But wait, I thought you said it was bad to praise a dictatorship in any circumstance. This is what she said about Bernie. It's a dictatorship. There's nothing groovy about a dictator. But when Obama does it, well, you know, diplomatically speaking, maybe we can let them praise them a little bit because you just want to keep the lines of communication open. On top of that, she said, I'm not arguing about whether he's a monster or not. I'm saying to you that what Obama did is what a president is supposed to do. So it's fine if Obama does it, but it's not okay if Bernie does it. This is hackery to a level that is just brazen. And she probably doesn't remember saying that because, again, I don't think that she has like a core political ideology or any driving philosophy she just kind of shoots from the hip and this just shows what a hack she she is but like oh the worst part the worst part was when joy behar said they have a hundred percent literacy rate there so everybody gets a free education everybody has top of the line medical medical care and everyone is healthy now when joy behar said this did Whoopi goldberg scream at her for praising a dictatorship no she nodded along in agreement Line medical care so everyone's healthy. American politics is exhausting. It's exhausting. I miss the times when politics was boring and nothing was happening. Like, in fact, politics should be boring, right? Politics and political systems are functioning well when things are boring. But in the United States, we see this. Like, this isn't just a one-off. Whoopi Goldberg isn't uniquely hackish here. Everyone in mainstream media is the same way. Like, I just played a clip of uh, Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders saying the same thing about Cuba and how uh, the response has been completely different. Bernie Sanders is universally condemned by the media and members of the Democratic Party establishment, even the DNC, Tom Perez, their spokesperson, came out when they're supposed to remain neutral to condemn basically what Bernie Sanders said, but Obama says the same thing. Crickets. Not controversial at all. So, I just, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> if you watch The View unironically, please stop. You're making yourself a less educated voter because nine times out of ten, no, 99 times out of 100, if you tune into The View, you're going to come away less informed than if you just hadn't watched. Like, there was a study, I want to say it was back uh, from 2014, 2015, and I wish I could remember the university who conducted it, but they found that people who watch Fox News are less informed than people who watch No News. I would guess that the same is true for The View. I mean, what do you get from this? What value can you extract politically? Can you honestly say that you're learning anything? They say the same thing that's said on MSNBC and CNN, albeit worse. They take it like to the next step and say it in a dumber way somehow. And for whatever reason, uh, Whoopi Goldberg is always talking about pooping and peeing. She likes to use that. It just, it's insufferable. And the show really, like, it, it's bad. Um... They need to bring on somebody who is at least mildly, mildly intelligent when it comes to politics. Like, get some diverse opinions. Because if you truly want the views of normal Americans to be reflected, that's the whole point, right? Then bring on a democratic socialist. Bring on someone who isn't just going to parrot whatever they hear on MSNBC. But, I mean, 
that's really asking for too much because at the end of the day, all of these people hate Bernie Sanders because they have class solidarity. They're multimillionaires. Whoopi Goldberg has a lot of money and probably doesn't want her taxes to be raised. So she doesn't care that she's being a shameless hack by condemning Bernie for something that she praised Obama for. You know, it doesn't matter to them. Everything boils down to their own self-interest and they know that Bernie would raise their taxes or they just don't care about the poor people in this country who are suffering. So they're going to attack the one person who would actually be a fighter for the working class because it makes them feel better and would, you know, uh, produce a better outcome politically for them. It's just, it's grotesque and I really hope that more people call this out. But, you know, ideally, less people will watch it. So uh, this isn't an issue, right? So, so less people are getting... Uh, uninformed by tuning into The View and hearing them just espouse horrible opinions. And look, usually it's Meghan McCain who's the worst one, and she's still bad, but on this panel, Whoopi Goldberg, I mean, she was by far the worst with how hyperbolic she was in comparing Bernie's remarks to Trump's remarks after Nazis were carrying tiki torches. Like, Jesus Christ.